was from a handgun. It looks old. Could have been in there for any number of years. A bullet lodged in the wall of my cottage, but how can that be? Well, it's not like you've been here for everything that's gone down. You spent most of your life away from home. What could they be shooting at in here? The question is, who would they be shooting at? That's what I'm gonna find out. Everything under control. I uh, uh, am on an important conference call with my father. Who's there, Julian? It's me, father, with Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. I see. Uh, whatever it is, we'll have to wait. Now you can talk to me now, or you can talk to the DA. I'm glad you're there, Luis. I've been wanting to thank you personally for protecting my daughter. You're welcome. Uh, you may not remember, but I met you many years ago when you were just a little shaver. I understand you've grown into a fine young man. And let me add that there's no higher calling than protecting the local citizenry. Law and order is the very foundation of our great country. If you'll excuse me, Father, I'd like to hear why Luis and Sheridan barged in the way they did. The bullet. <laughs> is that supposed to mean something to me? You tell me. Find it lodged in the wall of Sheridan's cottage. The cottage that my family used to live in years ago. I want to know how it got there. I want to know who fired the gun and who they were aiming at. Well, I've, I've no idea what you're referring to, Louise. This is certainly the first I've ever heard about a rogue bullet embedded in the wall of Sheridan's cottage. But how could you possibly date it? Could have been there 10, 20, even 50 years. No, oh, don't worry. I'll have the lab check it out. You know, this bullet could have been fired right around the time that my father suddenly disappeared. I don't see what one has to do with the other unless Martin was into target practice inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> my father hated guns, he hated violence of any sort. Now, if neither of you are going to help me, I'll just have to find out how it got there myself. Well, now, wait a minute. Hold on. Who said we wouldn't help you, Louise? The Crane family would be more than happy to assist the police investigation in any way that we can. We're all servants of the law. Keep any guns in the house, Julian? Of course he doesn't. What about that one that you keep in your drawer, Julian? It's been there since I was a child. That drawer. That's where you've always kept your gun. Well, I disposed of my revolver years ago. There's nothing here except a pack of playing cards and a few business papers. Mind if I look? Surely you trust my son. No offense, Mr. Crane. But I'd trust him a lot more if I could look for myself. Well, I would be more than glad to show you, unfortunately, the business papers I mentioned are rather personal, perhaps. By the time. You got it. Another time. Again, Luis, I, I can't thank you enough for looking after our Sheridan. She's the family treasure, you know. I take my work very seriously, sir. No harm will come to her while she's under my watch. Trying to figure out where the shooter was standing. The bullet's trajectory? I watch cop shows too, you know. Well, it couldn't have come through the window. Which pretty much rules out any sort of freak accident. You really think this has something to do with your father's disappearance? Well, if you weren't the intended victim, then it stands to reason that someone in my family was. It never made sense that my father would take off without contacting my mother. So you tell me what it looks like. Why would anyone want your father dead? That all depends on who killed him. You think it was Julian, don't you? Him or your father. I bet my badge on it. My offer still stands. 
If I can help you find out what happened to your father, then I will. My priority right now is protecting you. Not solving an old family mystery. I'll have to wait till we know you're out of danger. Don't answer it. Ask who it is. Who is it? It's your brother. Open the door. Yes, Julian? Father wanted me to remind you that tonight is the annual 4th of July gala at the Seascape. Aren't you and Ivy going? Uh, Father wants you uh, to be there as well. I wouldn't disappoint him. Well, I guess there are worse things than going to a dance at the Seascape. Name one. Like being stuck here with you. I'm gonna get dressed. Forget it, you're not going anywhere. I don't like being ordered around. That's tough because you're staying here tonight. To hell I am! I'm going to the dance! For my dead body. 